Hello, this is Roman Budak. I will be demonstrating some NFC technology showing you how to program the MyFair Ultralight C cards. Purpose of the video will be to add NDEF records, which are standard NFC records, onto a MyFair card. A MyFair card is a high security payment card, but there is a memory area which can make it act like a standard NFC NDEF record. And the purpose of this video would be is if you have a, already a standard NDEF card, well, then you don't need to see this video. This video is if you have the MyFair cards would be a little bit more difficult, more challenging to use. So that's the purpose of this video. And we're going to demonstrate it using a live Android app. What are we going to use for demonstrating? We're going to use these ultralight sample cards. They're pretty much giveaways from your NXP sales team. Feel free to contact them. They can give you several of them to play around with and to use. Business card, credit card size, form factor makes a very nice vehicle for doing demonstrations. The Samsung Galaxy S8 is the phone that will be used, an Android phone. There's some apps that are loaded on there, two free ones, NXP Tag Writer, NXP Tag Info. The Tag Info gives you a little bit more information when you're reading the card. We'll be using both of those and demonstrating them. In addition, the Chrome browser will be the browser that's used and I'll show you how to override the standard browser, whatever the default is set on your Android. You can actually specify that it must bring up the Chrome browser to do your redirect. So the purpose will be showing how to use a secure NFC tag, but also have some user area to do a re redirect. What are these cards? Again, they're business card credit card size form factor and the purpose is to show that even though there's a secure area for reading and writing, we're going to use a non-secure area for doing uh, redirects, maybe to reorder new merchandise or to redirect you to a specific website or landing page. What's tricky about these cards versus a standard card, if you had a regular NDEF card, all you would do is just go ahead and start using it. Because this has a secure and a non-secure area, first thing you have to do is format it. We'll be showing you how to do that. Once you format it, you get NDEF memory available for writing records. These video examples are going to show you how to format the card, set it up to do the redirect to run a web page, use the card, verify that it works, and then finally put it back into factory default states. One of the things to note when you get these cards is flip over the back side of it shows you how much user memory. This particular example I'll be using has 144 bytes of user memory. We'll need to know that when we start formatting the cards. And let's go ahead and watch that Android uh, video and show you how to make it work. Hello, Roman Budak. I'm going to be programming the MyFair Ultralight C cards that we talked about. They're a little cardboard business card size, credit card size. And on the back, we'll say how much user memory. There's 144 bytes of user memory available, and I'll be showing you how to use them. Two Android apps, Tag Info and Tag Writer, both of those are free. We'll be using these for this application. So the first thing I'm going to do is go under Tag Info, run that application, and I'm going to tap that card as it is when I get it. It identifies NXP semiconductors as the semiconductor manufacturer, the name of, name of the IC, Ultralight C. What's important as it ships, when I go to NDEF, there's no storage. It's a completely secure card. There's nothing that's stored on there for uh, user memory to be able to use an uh, NDEF record. And so what I have to do is erase the card and format it. And I will do that with the Tag Writer software and go under the erase and I'm going to format it as an NDF. NDF, yes. I flip over the back side of the card it says the most I can use is 144 bytes for user memory so I'm going to use the whole memory space. Hit the format. Now when I tap my card it says no NDF detected because it hasn't been formatted. I'm going to go ahead and format it and hit done. Now it has become a regular type 2 card, a memory space available. So if I go under tag info this time, this is showing me my last data. So if I tap it again, still ultralight C card. Now if I go under NDEF, it says now it's been formatted. Uh, and I haven't stored anything inside of it, but at least it's formatted. 
Okay, so let's do an authenticated redirect. To do that, I'm going to use the tag writer software again. And I want to write a tag. I want to make a new data set for this application. And I would do an authenticated redirect or just a redirect front to a web location. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the link. And it automatically says that it's going to be www. I can put in whatever, uh, if it's a secure website, whatever I want to add in there. What I'm going to do is go to nxp.com and I'm going to go slash NFC. And that'll redirect to a much longer link. So I will do the slash NFC. And I want to save and write this data set. I could have given it a title on that previous one to what I wanted to call it. Now I'm going to do a couple things. I want to do overwrite. Uh, I want to do an interaction counter so I could count how many times it's been tapped. I could do that. And I'm going to, the normal approach that would be recommended is just to leave the web address and I would use a default browser of your uh, Android phone or tablet. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it and just create a application. So I'm going to make sure that it uses Chrome. I'm going to go over here and I want to make sure it launches Chrome and I will show you what the difference is on that record. Now I'm going to hit a write. So it's going to be nxp.com and it's going to pull up Android Chrome and that's going to make force it to use Android Chrome. I'm going to tap my tag and you can see nothing was in it. It was blank. I'm going to confirm to store it and it went ahead and wrote it successfully. I could see at the top of the screen it says write successful. So I'm done with that. Now let's use the tag info to see what it wrote in there. Again, when I pull up the app, it shows me from my last time I tapped it. So it's still an ultralight 2. I see on the NFC forum NDEF, the last part here, it shows type 2 tag. And if I go NDEF, what did it write in there? Well, the first record is the website that I want to go to, which is nfc www.nxp.com slash nfc. The next thing is if I'd left it blank, it would have then used the default web browser, but I'm forcing it to use Chrome. And then lastly, the capability container, that's where I could use with the special software right in data to tell it how many times I've used it or how many times I've accessed it. So this looks good. How will it run? So let's go to the home page and I'm going to tap the card. It auto launches Chrome and it brought me to NFC web page. However, if I look, that wasn't the landing page. It's a much longer landing page. So it used a shortened web link and it redirected me automatically to NFC. You can envision if you had a product that you could do nxp.com, vendor one, vendor two, vendor three, and automatically bring you to a special page that would launch, that would now bring you to a spot where you want to have the customer order replacements or any kind of warranty information. All of that could have been done with the redirect. Now to set the card back to its original state, I'm going to go back into uh, Tag Writer. So this app. Uh, erase the tag. I'm going to format it to the factory default. I want to tap the card. Oh, too soon. Tap to confirm the erase. So I tap it and I want to go ahead and erase it back so it tells me what was in it. It was erased so now it's blank. If I were to do a tag read again with tag info It tells me it doesn't show me that I have any type 2 data. And when I go to NDEF, it hasn't been formatted. So hopefully that gives you an idea how to do the redirect. Uh, you could also then program in uh, BLE addresses for uh, Bluetooth pairing, all of that information. But hopefully this gets you started. Any other questions, feel free to call me.